Well, yeah, I, I, I can agree to some of the things that Bryce has said. You know, my whole thing is that I don't care what people do in their personal life. I couldn't give or care less. You know, I'm going to call people the way I see them. Um, I'm respectful enough to call you by your name. If, if somehow you want to identify something I don't understand, if you have a name, I'll just call you by your name. I don't have nothing else to do with the rest of it. I think that this is not helpful to the Black community because I don't believe that the Black community has flourished. The the Where we at today, how do we even get to this point? We weren't thinking like this. We weren't acting like this. You know, the, the, the nuclear family is incredibly important. And I believe that we should be focusing on those concepts, those Judeo-Christian concepts that got us to this point. We should stick with those things um, because if we go too far off the tracks, I, I don't think it's going to water down what we stand for. I don't think in, historically, I don't think we've ever stood for any of these things. When I was growing up, and I'm not saying it was good, but when I was growing up, you know, homosexuality and trans pan sexual and all this stuff was a, was not a real thing. Black people did not stand for that. We went to church. You had a mama. You had a daddy. And that's what we were. That's it. Uh, 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 that's Brandon, uh, the only thing I have to say about that is when you say black people did not stand for it, I believe black people hid it because black people pretended that they didn't stand for it. But behind closed uh, doors, black folks was gay. Black no, folks I, was wearing black men were wearing dresses. I mean, Marvin Gaye's father, for crying out loud, was a cross dresser. But it so wasn't acceptable. Talk about what black people didn't stand for. It's just that because black people couldn't stand for it, black people held it in and black people lied and black people denied and black people were not who they really were. No, I don't think it was that. I think it was more so saying that, look, this is not the way God made you. This is not what we represent. So we are against that. Even though people are going to act that way, that doesn't mean you support it. Like when I was growing up, if somebody was gay, you know, they kept it to themselves because daddy wasn't respecting that. Mama were respecting that. It did it, like those things were true, even in the church. A guy could be flamboyant in the church, being a choir, doing a thing. But, you know, you, you start doing stuff and are acting a certain way. You're going to get checked. Hold that thought. I know we got to get to Kayla, but I never ended. Nina, I see you seething. So go ahead. It's, so this is we're, we're getting away from we're going deep into sexuality rather than the topic at hand, which is pronouns. Everyone under the spectrum of identity uses pronouns. If I get a doctorate degree, if I, I don't want nobody just call me by my name, I, you better say doctor, Nina, when you come into that space. That's the same preference as pronouns. If I know that I am a she, her, when I write down in my uh, different information topics or different information I have to fill out for the government, all those type of things, you have to make sure that those titles align with how you identify. Other, otherwise, there will be some questions in that space. And so all it's saying is that in any capacity, this is not reducing anybody who is once again adherent to the normal pronouns, which is she and her. It's just saying, yes, there are going to be expanding definitions and pronouns in this space, and that's fine. 